Hi guys, so to have a quick review, hopefully it'll be quick, it seems like it will be, of this up to you table. It's kind of like a tuck away, hide away little table that you can use, but it's also uh, kind of like a desk. And you can also, that's right, you can telescope it up and down. I forgot the other reason I really like this. So uh, basically, I, you know, it's a big box. The box was much bigger than I thought, so here it is. So it's a full size kind of thing, but look how thin it is. I was like, okay, this is good. Cause basically, I'm gonna keep this hopefully either right next to my table, <clears throat> excuse me, on this side here or on the other side where people don't really walk through that often. Um, and then when I need it, and what I figure it is, you know how I'm always complaining that my Gemini is so huge, like I don't have a space behind it for it to go when you pass your disc through. So I usually put it on the floor. I had this little coffee table, this little, not coffee table, what's it called? Like a, ay. Like a TV tray table from Walmart, which works great, but my daughter's using it now. She has a bunch of little toys on it. <clears throat> so I think this is good. And then my expressions or my Explorer Air or whatever, my Cricut stuff, um, is in a closet right here behind us. And it's not inaccessible. I mean, I can see everything easily. I can bring it out and use it. And I just put it back away and bring this table out whenever I want to use it. Or it might end up being a permanent, you know, fixture. We'll see. <laughs> but um, I don't have that much room left here in my craft room that's not already taken up by tables and oh, so many other things. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know you can see behind here there's stuff. So anyway, what I'm going to do is probably lay this down. It looks like it opens and hinges up. I got this. Oh my friend. Well, it's probably the title, but from HSN. I think it has to do with the origami brand is what it seemed like, but I'm not sure. But they did have it on sale and I was able to get $20 off with one of their coupons. And um, so I think I got it for like a hundred bucks. It was like 99 or 98 bucks or something like that. So let me see. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna lay it down because there's also a side opening here. And uh, we'll get this thing out. So I'll take it out of the box. What's good about this, supposedly it's ready to go. You don't have to assemble it or do anything. So uh, let me open this up and I'll show I you what it looks like. I don't think that you're gonna damage it because I just took a peek to see if it was up or down. I can't tell what's going on. You know what I'm saying? If it's already standing up. But they always package things like this. Hopefully you can see it has super duper uh, stuff. And so I've never received any of their items damaged, but really I've only ordered one, I think, item before. <laughs> um, and then people always have good reviews about that. So let me, well, you know what, since we're here. Oh my goodness, I don't know how this is gonna work out. Like I said, it might just, uh, I still can't tell what's up or down. I think this is, oh, this is up. Okay, I don't think, I don't know if there's anything on the box that tells you which side is up, but I can tell this is up because I can read the words. So if the words were upside down, then that would tell me that this was... Ah, I'm going to end up breaking something. That last little tape at the bottom I can't quite get right now. There it goes. Look at that. Well, I know it's hard to see from my angle, but... Okay, let me slide this thing out. It's not the lightest thing in the world. I'll give it that. Okay, I think, yeah, there are instructions, so maybe I should read those first as far as, yeah, let me read those. <laughs> Telescope and computer desk, step by step instructions first, stand the desk in an upright position, next pull the desk from both sides, outward motion, and then you have to lock the latch and swing the wood over. So it's not saying there's anything to I guess there is some extra stuff sitting next to me, which kind of, I'm assuming, is nothing I need to assemble, because supposedly there's no assembly of this stuff. <clears throat> Oopsie. That was not good. Ooh. I scratched my floor. <laughs> so be careful, guys. Oh, those are the wheels. Okay. Oh, this thing already wants to open up. Let's see if I have room for this to open up. Um, let me cut these plastic cable ties and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, there are a ton of cable ties. <laughs> Not a ton, there's like several, but you gotta get them all. They're all over the place. And then um, these casters kind of came out. So these are, hopefully you see this, to keep it flat if you're just gonna keep it stationary, but there's also wheels, so I guess it depends what you wanna do, but you would screw them on the bottom, okay? So what you would do is lay this thing down, obviously, so you can access the very bottom. Um, I can't see what I'm doing, so hold on. Let me see what you guys are seeing here. Let me see if I can back up even, no, that's forward. Now let me bring this down so we can see a little more of the table. Okay. 
so if you had your wheels, obviously you slide it open. You know, right now I'm going to do it more manually because I don't have the wheels to help me kind of slide it out. But there it goes. Let me see what this looks like right now. Because I want to make sure you're seeing everything. Okay. And I don't want to get in the way because I have not fixed my hair yet today. <laughs> All right. So I do want to make sure. Let me see. Okay. So this little, there's a latch back here. Um, and you'll see on the video, they pointed out very clearly on their, on your demo. So basically you're trying to get this silver latch up in the top. So let me make sure this thing is completely open. So it looks like it's very hard to do right now. As we said, the first few times you might have to put your weight on it. Ay, ay, ay. I'm trying to figure out how to do this without putting my head in the way. Cause I'm telling you, oh, <laughs> this is not just stuff back here. This is not even close. Oh, here we go. So there's two pieces to the latch. Pick up both pieces so it goes up a little bit higher. Yeah, that's fine. And then push it down. So that locks it in place. And then, hopefully you can see this piece here. I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, that's, you need a lot of clearance to get this thing up and over. And I'm just flipping it around. And I'm assuming you can lock this. I don't know that you would have to because if you have stuff on top, like what's the point? But let me see. Yeah, there's a little lock here. Um, let me show you. Sorry, this is uh, kind of all over the place because <laughs> of the way I have to turn things and stuff. But there's a little lock right here. That helps you lock this in place. So let me see where or what. I'm trying to see how... Oh, there we go. Okay. So it locks under. When you push it, it goes underneath this metal piece here. And then all you're going to do on both sides, there's um, these little things right here that you squeeze. I don't know if you can see this. Like my fingers touching, it's kind of going up and down. So on both sides, you're going to squeeze them at the same time and the desk will move for you. So you know, lock it in, down, low. I guess they're set heights. They're set probably every inch or so or something because if I just let it go, it kind of wants to click into the next one that's available. So pretty cool because I can, this thing goes all the way up to like my, my chest here. I don't know if you can, my shoulder is just above here. Um, and that's, I don't even know if that's a full extension. It might still go, oh, yep. Oh, see that's not good. Ugh. Okay, there. So yeah, it goes right up to maybe a couple inches below my shoulder. That's really tall. So I guess we wanted to display something on this or that'd be a good use of it. Look at how high that is. Don't pay attention to anything else that's around, okay? <laughs> we, that's a bucket of um, a tub that I just threw everything in. Cause I'm like, I need to get this stuff cleaned up. So I just put it in a tub to get it off the floor really. But anyway, it has two little areas. So I would keep it down low cause you know, I don't need it to be this high. What is going on here? Oh yeah, yeah, you guys. What a weird. I mean, it's just odd. Just come out here. Okay. Now let me see about bringing it down again. I probably keep it like around here. Put your cricket on there. You know, do whatever you need to do. Let me see how skinny it folds up again because that's important to me. So unlatch this. Right. We unlatch that. Bring it back over and around carefully. Oops, it's safe. Are I hitting something over here? what that's too low good to know um you, i can't bring this thing all the way around down because it's not long enough so i'm gonna have to bring it back over pull this up a little bit longer sorry a little bit higher so they can accommodate the wood coming down this side now if i had the um the casters on it would give it a little bit higher space, right? Or if I had the wheels in there, especially, which I'm probably gonna put the wheels. Um, so that's good. And then over here, you just unlatch it, pick it up again, unlatch it, and close the thing up. So sorry for a messy room, but this was part of the thing. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this thing fell off. <laughs> Guys, this is kind of a little bit of a disaster. This thing that, <laughs> Holds the top on, I can see just completely sheared off. Okay, well, anyway, be careful with this thing. I'll try to work with that. If it seems like that's a problem, uh, I'll return it. Otherwise, it seems like a good thing. I don't know. I thought it would be good. <clears throat> oh, 
there it goes. But it does close up super thin. I mean, I guess that's the point that we're looking at. This thing closes up to like less than six inches wide. So hopefully I can get this back on there without being too much drama. And if I continue using it, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching and I'm sorry again for my mess. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now. Okay guys, you know what? I laid this down and you know, I always come back cause I'm like, oh, I discovered something else. So obviously this thing sheared off. I don't know exactly why. It was probably from when I first opened it up and it swung out or when I went to close it, remember, and it wasn't long enough. I didn't let it hit the floor. I just realized it was gonna hit the floor. So I brought it back up, but I don't know. So we'll get that going. I just screwed in the wheels. So that was easy. Oh, you just turn them, turn them. It comes with a tool. I didn't have to use the tool. But it also has these guys. And these are basically for the area where I showed you that you're supposed to press to raise the levers up and down. And it's just kind of like a more ergonomic, softer feeling thing. And you basically just slide them on, I believe, up here. Just slide them in there so it looks a little bit nicer. And then we're good to go. I got really hot, so I had to take off my sweater. <laughs> so I'm going to pick this thing up and put it in place over here, and I'll take some pictures for you guys. You know what? I was taking I pictures of this thing, and I'm, I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and return it. Because what's weird is that if you leave these white things in here, which make it nicer for you to lift it up and down, this won't close because this touches this area, so it doesn't close all the way back down. So you have to slide these out every time and don't lose them. And then... Um, if I have it closed up with the wheels on, it is not like staying in place. It wants to move around kind of like on its own. It, I don't know how to explain it. I guess you'd want to use the cast, the regular flat ones, right? So it just stays there because if you have one of these, tell me how you get this thing. And it does have locks, but that doesn't matter because like they're so weird. It's so small at the bottom. It's really wobbly. And maybe that's why the thing was on clearance because it was literally 180 bucks is what they wanted. And it was on clearance for like 119 or something. And then I got the 20 bucks off. So I don't know, and I'm sorry I keep coming back, but more and more I look at it and do things with it, I'm like, this is gonna go back. And I was excited about it because of the telescoping, but uh, if you're gonna keep it in one spot and just have it there, I think it's great, right? It's lovely, it's sturdy. They have like five different colors, but for moving it around, for using it the way I was thinking, this is not gonna work out. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.